that was in the State of the Union address, and Joe Biden must have been jacked up on something that day. I, I think I can have some evidence uh, that shows that he was given something before that. Okay. In, in terms of a medicine or? North Carolina Congressman, Republican, of course, Greg Murphy claims that he has solid proof that uh, President Joe Biden was hopped up on stimulants during the State of the Union address. Now, for context, uh, this discussion came about as Murphy and Fox Business host Maria Bartiromo were discussing the two presidential debates that Trump and Biden agreed to do. That's when Murphy went off on this tangent. I'll just be very plain and simple. I was in the State of the Union address, and Joe Biden must have been jacked up on something that day. I absolutely believe that from a medical viewpoint, and actually have a little bit of uh, good knowledge that that a captain that that happened. He can't stand it. He can't stand under the lights for that long, and I don't think he can keep a concept in his brain that long. Congressman, what do you mean when you say he was jacked up at the State of the Union? I, uh, I believe they gave him something to, to help him uh, sustain the lights and sustain the vigor that he had. That's not, that was not Joe Biden. I was in there. He screamed for two hours. I mean, true? He was, energy, he was uncharacteristically energetic during that speech. I mean, he got applauded for it. Look, obviously, we don't know if he actually took some sort of stimulant to like wake up and be a little more energetic. But I don't think it's far fetched for the president to have done that. And look, to be honest with you, I don't care. Who cares? Are, are, like, are we going to pretend? Seriously, like, what, Joe Biden did some speed, like, he used <laughs> some methamphetamines as if he was Jessica Spano from Saved by the Bell that one episode. Like, I, I don't know why anybody would be pissed off about this, that Joe Biden had some help, you know, getting his energy up. Now, if he's saying he was in the, you know, in the White House bathroom, like snorting lines and stuff, then I'd be like, all right, uh, maybe Joe needs to <laughs> cut it, cut it back and relax. Oh, but if he took some happy pills before this thing and drank a Red Bull and got this thing cranking, I'm all for it, Anna. That might kill him. Like if he did take, <laughs> like I don't know, an Adderall and like, you know, chugged a, a Red Bull. I I do not <laughs> recommend that. That might act literally kill him. But no, do I think that presidents or other politicians, you know, maybe rely on a prescription stimulant like Adderall? Like I I would not be shocked. And again, we are speculating, but we've seen Biden speeches. And I remember bracing for impact on the day of his State of the Union address, and he I thought he did well, and he was energetic, and it was different from how he typically carries himself, right? So for those who are speculating that he did, I don't begrudge them for speculating. And to be quite frank, I don't care if he did. Now, uh, Greg Murphy then goes on to claim that he has proof and that he knows without a shadow of a doubt that Biden did in fact take drugs. Let's watch. He yeah. screamed for two hours, and uh, you know maybe we can talk offline, and I'll show you something, and I think that proves that. Well, you'll show me what? I, I think I can have some evidence uh, that shows that he was given something before that. Okay, in in terms of a medicine or. Yeah, you know, Joe, Joe, there's no way Joe, Joe is 82. There's a picture taken of him last week on the, he's on the beach without his makeup on. And guess what? He looks like, what, an 82-year-old. You can see his surgical scar in the back um, where he had his facelift. You can see that very plainly. He's being uh, manufactured and puppeteered by the Democratic Party to be president of the United States. And I fully believe that has to do sometimes with pharmacology. Uh, Congressman, I'm going to follow up on that. I'd like you to, sh I'd like to see more of that. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Now, now he's kind of changing the narrative, right? Because it seemed like he was implying Biden took uh, stimulants during the State of the Union address, but then he's talking about the Democratic Party controlling him and being puppet masters. So what, he's taking sedatives? Like, I, this is, <laughs> I, look, I don't care about anyone's facelift. Like, what, what how, how does that have any impact on the job performance of the president? And really, we're going to talk about cosmetic, you know, efforts that the president does to improve <laughs> to his appearance. His appearance, yeah.
Yeah, come on. It's tough. It's tough. A- that Donald Trump ain't seen a tan in bed that he ain't love yet. I mean, come on now. He got the spray tan, the the beach bump tan. He's he's using all of the products on that. And I like one. If you think he's doing something weird or stupid, and you have this proof, give it to the American people. Why are you telling Maria Bartolomo on the side? Like, oh, I got this little secret for you. Like, yo, I'm I'm gonna text you on the side though. Like, we're not gonna do it in the group chat. I got you on the side chat. Like. Bro, if 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 something nefarious is happening with our leader, you know, the guy we elected to lead this country, then the, the people should know, shouldn't they? And just I feel it just felt like he wanted to get his little jabs off about yes. the facelift and stuff like that. That's it's, all it was. There was there was no substance there. Like Look, you want to attack the president over a policy that you think was terrible? Great. Game on. But I don't I don't care for like the low brow jabs, right? Like, oh, he got a facelift. He might have. Who cares? I don't care. Uh, he he is eighty one years old, so I feel like it would be irresponsible Man. not to take a, a stimulant before giving the State of the Union speech. To be Dude. honest with you, right? Like, if, what you want to fall asleep while you're giving your State of the Union? Biden speech? got reelected. He'd be president until he was eighty six years old. That's pretty freaking nuts. Honestly, yeah, it is nuts. It is nuts. <laughs> That's <And> crazy. <laughs> the yeah. most stressful job on the planet. Like, wow. Holy moly. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what's happening. I, I bad decisions are being made. And it's not just about Biden. It's also look, the Republican voters love Trump. It's very different from yeah, how Democratic they voters. Any, they don't have any other energy um, in their party for anybody else. Although I do think the you know, the sort of country club Republicans of whom still exist would love a Nikki Haley type and would mm-hmm. absolutely get behind something like that. Uh, I don't know that the base would. I think the base is over any type no. of corporatist Republican ever showing up again, you know. Whereas with, with the Democrats, if they literally put any face on that ticket, people would get behind it and talk themselves into it being a great thing. Yeah, totally. I agree. And I just find it funny that Biden thinks he's the best candidate to beat Trump. And I get why he thinks that because he beat he Donald Trump the first yeah, time. 2020. But things do change. And yeah, you look at some of the other possible candidates who I actually do not favor. And, you know, in some of the theoretical uh, showdowns between those Democrats and Donald Trump, they perform better in the polls. And by the way, speaking of Nikki Haley, there were more. Democratic voters who are interested, or I should say Democratic or left leaning independent voters who favored Nikki Haley over Biden, which does not make me feel good. That is not a good thing. Yeah, Nikki Haley, good. neocon. Yeah. I mean, she's a Bush era type Republican. I think the country has. I don't has think there's anything that. to get excited about that on a Nikki Haley tip. Uh, I, you know, I, I wonder what whatever happened to Kamala. Remember her? <laughs> No, I don't. Uh, Let's keep going. (laughs) Let's move on. By the way, uh, you won the show today with your pronunciation of Maria Maria Bartolomo, who- What did I say? Bartolomo? (laughs) Yeah, Bartolomo. It's Bartolomo, but it's okay. Oh, Uh, my bad. Whoops. Barta Lomo has a nice ring to it. Um, anyway, so I want to <laughs> fast forward to <laughs> Sean Hannity because Sean Hannity was actually nicer to Biden uh, than Murphy was after the State of the Union address. Let's take a look at what he had to say. I, I think this is phenomenal news for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I think that Donald Trump will wipe the floor, floor with him. And I don't care if we get the State of the Union jacked up Joe with caffeine, Red Bull, <laughs> or whatever. Uh, or we get regular Joe that could barely walk off the stage last <laughs> night. Okay, let me revise what I said in the lead up to that video. He wasn't necessarily nicer to Biden, but he seems to think that Biden was, um, you know, using caffeine and you know Red Bull, which of course active ingredient is caffeine, in order to get energized for that State of the Union address. But look, the reason why I say that it's not far fetched for politicians to use stimulants or use drugs as as part of their job is because we already know that this was widespread within the Trump administration, right? Mm. And it is a stressful job and I don't I don't know, man. I just think if you are 
doing this job that is stressful. And look, I don't know if Biden is working around the clock, but it can be exhausting. So is it far fetched for them to use stimulants? No. A Rolling Stone piece from back in March, which we had reported on, talked about how the Defense Department's Inspector General had done an investigation and found that the Trump administration had distributed controlled substances with scant oversight and even sloppier record keeping. Investigators repeatedly noticed that the unit had ordered thousands and thousands of doses of the stimulant modafinil, which has been used by military pilots for decades to stay alert during long missions. Like everyone's on drugs. Everyone be doing drugs, okay? Like it's just, it's look at the reports about the number of people who got Adderall prescriptions during the coronavirus pandemic. There's all sorts of people, not just politicians, just using all sorts of drugs, all sorts of stimulants. And I actually wonder what the long term effects of that will be. I am actually concerned about that. But if Murphy's going to go around pointing fingers at Biden taking stimulants, well, maybe take a good hard look at the politicians on your side of the aisle, you know? Yeah, and if you turn on your TV, I don't care what you're watching in America, you're going to get just bombarded with pharmaceutical commercials. Like, this is America, guys. Like, it's kind of ridiculous that it's legal to push all these pills Mm -hmm. on our citizens and think that politicians are somehow immune to, you know, these the charms of all of these damn drugs. It doesn't make any sense. Of course, they're doing drugs, the whole population is doing them. I'm so sick of pharmaceutical commercials. It's like back to back to back. It's so annoying. The hush tones um, and consort with your doctor and blah, 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 blah. It's like, all right, bro. And then yeah, all of the all the side effects just get said in rapid succession at the very end. And they're usually yeah. like devastating side yeah, effects. Yeah, yeah, facts. Like, <laughs> like anal bleeding. And it's like, oh, yeah. maybe not. Maybe I'm not interested in this. Like, Jesus. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.